In this video, you're going to quickly learn how you can connect Gemini AI with any app in the world. Let's just jump right into it. All right, so the first step is to start creating your workflow on Zapier. And in this case, we're going to be using Google AI Studio, which is right now available in Zapier. I'm gonna guide you through this example where we are going to be automating our personal LinkedIn, but you can replicate this process for any app that you want. The first thing is that we wanna set up our trigger. In this case, I'm using Schedule by Zapier, and I'm gonna set the event to be triggered every day. We can continue. Next, we are going to choose the time when we wanna schedule our post on LinkedIn. In this case, I chose 6 p.m. and I want to trigger it on weekends as well. You can then test the trigger. Today is Sunday, the 30th of June, so it seems like it works. And we can continue with selected record. As the first action after our trigger, we want to go and obviously use Gemini AI. So for this, you can just search for Gemini and you are going to find an app called Google AI Studio Gemini. You want to choose that one and then you want to specify your event. In this case, you have conversation or send a prompt. In this case, I'm going to be using conversation because I want to use the memory key which is going to allow me to store all of the previous history chats within one conversation. This is going to keep the output consistent which is exactly what I want for my LinkedIn post. And then we are going to continue and right now we are in the most important step which is where you want to connect Gemini with Zapier. I have already done that but I'm going to exactly show you step by step how you can do that as well. The first thing you want to do is to go to the link that I'm going to post down below in the description and you can immediately sign in into your Google AI Studio with your Gmail account. If we go to pricing, you can see that we have two different options. We currently have also a free of charge option that we are going to be utilizing, but you also have the option similarly to the OpenAI and that one is pay as you go. You can also see up here that they have different models. And so currently the fastest one is the Gemini 1.5 Flash, which is the one that I'm gonna choose as well. And then I'm going to try it now. And then you are going to be redirected to the Google AI Studio studio. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that you are going to be prompted to accept some terms. So just make sure to check that box and then click continue. And you're going to end up exactly on the same page as I am right now. You can double check which Google account was used. So just keep in mind that Google AI Studio is going to automatically use the one which you are currently signed into and it is your default one. So what you want to do is to go and hit the get API key button. And as you can see here, I have already generated one API key. But what you want to do is to hit create API key. Then you want to go and choose the Google Cloud project. In this case, we are going to just use the default one, which is generative language client. And then I'm going to go and hit create API key. I'm going to delete right after this video, this API key, so you don't have to use it. But what you want to do is to just hit copy. And then you want to go back to Zapier. And in this case, you are going to be prompted to use your API key to connect Gemini with Zapier. I have already done that, but I can show Show you how it's going to look like. I'm going to click on the connect a new account and a new pop up like this is going to be shown to you. And you simply are going to paste the API key in this field over here and then you are good to go. All right, back to Google AI Studio. We can close this one and you can see right now that we have two API keys. Currently, it's going to use the free of charge plan. You can see that they write here that if you use Gemini API from a project that has billing enabled, your use will be subject to pay as you go pricing. This is not the case because because we have not set up the billing, but you can set up your billing over here with this one. If I click on that one, you can see we're going to be redirected on a new landing page. And in this case, we then just continue and set up our billing. All right, back to Zapier and we can continue. And right now we are going to set up our prompt as well as the settings for Gemini to generate our post on LinkedIn. The first thing is that you wanna go and choose API version. In this case, you wanna go and choose default. Then you have the option to choose from different models. In this case, I'm gonna be using the Gemini 1.5 flash, which is the latest one and the fastest one. And then we have our message, which is the prompt. So for this, just to save time, I'm going to go to my database where I store all my AI automations for different use cases. And I'm just going to go and copy the exact prompt for the Gemini API automation for generating educative LinkedIn posts with call to actions. So let's just go and paste it over here. In this case, I'm using different parameters to make the prompt structured. So if I don't like the output, I I can just go here and if I don't like the tone or style, 
I can just immediately change it and I don't have to just search for it in the prompt. If you want to know how you can write prompts like these, then definitely check out the first thing in the description down below as well, where you're going to find a totally free Node.js resource for writing your prompts inside Zapier as well as on ChatGPT, Gemini, and Zapier Central. All right, we are good to go. And the next thing is the memory key. So in this case, we are sparking a conversation. We want to store all the previous chats within one conversation. So you should set up a memory key if you want to do so. Um, you can write anything here, any number or any word, whatever you want. Just make sure that if you don't like the output, you are going to then come back here, change the memory key. So you are going to refresh the conversation if you want to change the prompt and experiment with the outcome. Then we have temperature top P top K. In this case, I have videos on my channel explaining these, but you don't need to change this unless you know what you're doing. It's basically making the output more creative, more random or more precise and exact. So if you want to know more, you can go and check out my videos, which I'm going to link down below as well. But you can actually leave them as they are. And then we have stop sequences, which is the set of character sequences up to five that will stop output generation. You can also leave this empty and we can go and continue. And right now we are going to test this action whether it works and whether it generates our LinkedIn post for us. And yeah, it seems like it works. We got the green check mark. So let's just scroll down and see the output is going to be stored under the content. And as you can see here, we have a very nicely structured LinkedIn post. We have some step by step tutorial as well to give some value. And then at the end, we also have the call to action to go and visit our website. All right, so I'm very happy about this. We can go ahead and continue. And right now you have successfully connected Gemini with Zapier and you can do what Whatever you want next. In this example, I'm going to be using LinkedIn, as I have said. In the event, you want to go and choose create share update, which is going to allow you to post on your personal LinkedIn. But you can also choose create company update if you want. I'm going to go with this one and then I'm going to hit continue. I have already connected my LinkedIn account, but here you just use your credentials, you logged in and then you're good to go. So I can go ahead and hit change, then connect a new account. And then you just need to log in with your credentials and you have then connected your LinkedIn account with Zapier. All right, I have already done that so I can continue. And in the action, we have the first field, which is comment. And in the comment field, you just simply want to go to your previous action where you spark the conversation with Gemini. So we are going to go here and then you want to search for the dynamic value variable that stores the output that Gemini created for you. And that one is stored over here. You can also click on the more option over here to see whether that is your post. It seems like it is. We can add that over there. You can then set up additional settings so we can make it visible to anyone or to connections only. I'm going to go and choose anyone. You can add a content title, but this one is only when you are sharing a document. So we can leave that empty. Next one is content description. We can leave that empty. If you want to go and create an AI image using OpenAI, you can have an action before and then add it over here. And then lastly, content URL, we can leave it empty as well. And we can continue. And I'm going to retest this and see whether it posts on my LinkedIn. And yeah, it seems like it works. So we got the URL over here. So let me just copy and paste it here. And yeah, it seems like it worked. So we have a very nicely structured post over here with the step-by-step -step tutorial, as well as the clickable call to actions to zapier.com. All right, so the last thing you wanna go and name your automation. So you can do that over here, click rename, and then you can name it whatever you want. In this case, I named it exactly with the apps that I'm using in this automation, which is schedule Gemini and LinkedIn. And then you can go ahead and publish the automation over here or in this corner over here. All right. I hope you know right now how you can connect Gemini with any app that you like. And I have shown you this example so you can get an idea about how you can do this step by step. Once again, my whole database, which I update on a regular basis, it's in the first link in the description down below. So go and check that out. If you enjoyed this video or if you learned anything new, please give this video a thumbs up. And I believe if you enjoyed this video, you're also going to enjoy this video that you can right now see on your screen. Thank you so much and have a great day.